Hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and in this video I am going to expand on the previous video that we, I have shown you about uploading files through filament. So filament does allow us to upload single file and it also has the ability to upload multiple files, check for MIME types and a few things which I feel you should know before you start building an application in filament. So let's see. First of all. I will go into my code editor, open up certificate resource and over here we had this file upload thing, right? File upload make directory and all those things. And let's just for the sake of understanding, see what we have over here. So we have this single field, which is fair enough. Now in the database, if I go to my certificates, I have this. Now what will happen if let's just say we want to have multiple files. The first thing is over here I will come and do multiple. What it will allow us to do is if I remove this, alright this will not immediately work because the multiple expects certain kind of data column. but if I try to click browse, I have these two images. If I add it over here, can you see these two are getting uploaded? So I do get the ability to select multiple files when I have multiple. But let's just try and kind of you know set the column in, in that format. So what I need to do is this is file upload of um certificate. Over here, I'll do casts. Column name is certificate image. And I'll define this as an array. And let's see if now I'm able to do it. Right. Let me see. One, two. Set this up. Okay. And if I hit save, cannot access offset of type string. So it is definitely not working. And I have worry that it's possible because of the original file name. Let's remove that for some time and try again once more just so that you know I can validate whether it works or not. And I'll just hit refresh, browse, select the two. Because I, I did all of the uh, things initially with a type of column which was not single entry based and hence you know, I never got this error. This is I'm doing on something which was already there. And now if you see it is starting to, I would say, um, save the array of image path, right? And because we have done so far, uh, maybe I'll try one more thing. I'll get the store files in. Okay. And over here, let me see if this works. Okay. I haven't tried this particular thing. I'm doing it right now on this video. And what I need to do is, first of all, I'll just Okay, it, it will not allow me to do so because the file names are empty, but rather I will browse, upload these, maybe not, I'll have to empty this, so I'll empty this and empty this, hit OK. So these two fields are empty, now if I do browse, select both these images, right. Uploading file, saving changes. It, I think it kind of failed. It didn't work because it is stuck. Or maybe not. All right. What happened with the JavaScript? I think I need to run npm dev. Something happened with my node versions. But at least it is working because I can see over here. This is an object. Hmm. 
certificate images and square.jpg let me put this in a json beautifier process what does it do all right so it is saving the path and it is saving the original file name because it needs the key value right right now we have over here an array and hence it is keeping an object key value pair so this is working right and that is that is the benefit of having the array kind of a thing over here you know, my column is of type array and hence it is able to cast the information in that particular format now there are a few other niceties as well for example if i okay not here accepted file types and if i do um, because i'm trying to upload images maybe i will do application pdf i think that's the format and if i now i'll get rid of this tab hit refresh okay and over here can you see i am not able to select it because this is not a pdf so the mime type check is available with us as well and it's again a very good thing because you don't want your users to upload anything like in a profile upload thing you don't want them to upload pdfs right so you can have that kind of mime type check which is also available with laravel by default if, if you don't know that now what next we have seen that we can upload multiple images we have seen that we can do a check of mime type there is one more interesting thing which is um, because we are storing this information in um, array there can be a potential requirement where i want to show images in a particular format or uh, sequence and so uh, this is reorder uh, reorder uploaded files or is it can reorder um let's see i think it's enable reorder if i if i'm not wrong store file names in okay enable reorder let's see i forgot the exact function name but it is something like that yeah so the first one is the dashboard you know, where it is prominent and then the second one is the long shot hit save something changed definitely and if i refresh the sequence is maintained if i change the sequence now we have the long shot and then the zoomed one if i hit save again keep an eye over here it has changed again and if i now refresh i do see the long shot and then the zoomed version so this is again working and i feel again you know, this is important because in a view if you want to show in sequence you get the ability to do that and last but not the least let's just say the admin users want to view the images and even download it from time to time what you can do is there are small little flags which are available not a biggie but um, it's important to know you have like we have enable reordering we can do enable download and what that will do is i can kind of go to that thing and i can download it i don't want to do that right now or if you want the ability for them to view the image what you can do is the other function which we saw enable open right we add that and this gives us this nice you know thing icon which opens the image in a new tab so with all these niceties it becomes very easy for you to give a good user experience for the admin users to manage certain things and it can be things like um, students certificates or maybe you know the report card where they are able to see this and they can at any point of time see the original image or even they can download it if they want so yeah that's about it that's about a few advanced things that we get with the file upload i hope you like this video if you're not already subscribed do hit the subscribe button and yeah if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon